This entire city is breathtaking. I can't believe that I live here. I absolutely love it. Good morning. Um, I'm about to go to Spain and I'm super excited. Like, ah! it's crazy that my time in Sweden has come to an end. Um, it's actually crazy. I can't even believe it. I was here for like five months, basically, I think. Yeah, because I basically wasn't here in December, but in total, it was about five months. And honestly, it feels like I've been here for such a long time. <laughs> It doesn't feel like it's been that short but yeah i'm excited to go to spain um i don't know much about spain apart from what i've seen in the movies so i'm super excited to experience it in person i don't know what to expect but i look forward to it um it's currently 3 a.m my flight is by 6 but i need to go and drop off my the keys to this apartment first before i go to the airport so i'm about to book my uber now so i can do all of that and get to the airport in good time for my flight so yeah uh this is my last uh vlog in sweden um yeah it's been a it's been a vibe it's been a vibe let's head to spain and see what spain has to offer me see you later Um, I am finally in Bilbao. It was such a long journey. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe it's been one day. It feels like the journey took two days. Um, probably because I didn't sleep last night. I didn't sleep. I only slept for like a couple of hours on the plane. But yeah, I'm super tired. And unfortunately for me, I have a deadline to meet on Monday. Listen, I don't know why I accepted to do that thing because... I'm so tired. Today is already Saturday. Saturday is basically over. So I basically have just tomorrow to do it. Um, but I would help myself a lot if I start this night. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to nap first and then start working or just work until I'm tired and then sleep. I don't know, but I have to eat dinner too. So yeah, maybe I'll go out 
I, I definitely will go out because I obviously don't have food. I don't have anything. Um, so yeah, maybe I should just work a bit, then have dinner and sleep. I think that's the plan, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, the place is nice. It's it's nice. I don't mind it at all. I have to share a kitchen with like four other people, which is kind of wild, you know. Um, in my previous place, I didn't have to share a kitchen, but it's fine, you know. Um, the room is big enough. Man, my room is even close to the kitchen, so that's good. And yeah, I guess I'll work. I'll work around it. I don't really like to live with people but at least i'm happy that i'm not sharing a bathroom i have my own bathroom so it's just the kitchen i have to share but it'll be fine um yeah so i will i will see you later Good morning. It's currently about uh, 2 p.m. and I'm just starting my day because yo, I was so tired. I still am so tired, like my entire body hurts. And I don't really know why, because honestly, the flight wasn't that long. I had, my first flight was one hour. My second flight was about two hours. And I had a seven hour layover at the airport. I've had longer than that and I wasn't this tired. So I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't sleep the night before the flight, probably. And then when I got here, I didn't sleep well because I told you I had a deadline to meet on Monday, which which was today or yesterday. What's today? Today, Monday or yesterday? I told you I had a deadline to meet on Monday. That is today. So uh, basically, I was working throughout yesterday, like almost nonstop. I really should not have accepted that order, but, you know, too late now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I'm finally done. I'm going to take a couple of days off work so that I don't burn out. And I just rest, honestly. I'm even, I think I'm going to get a massage. I've been saying for a long time that I need a massage. I'm definitely going to get one this week. I found a massage place on Google Maps. So I'm going to check it out today. And if it's nice, I might just have the massage today because my body hurts. It feels like I went to the to the gym to lift some weights because my arms, I don't know why, maybe it was the way I slept on the plane. I don't even know, but yeah. I'm so tired. Anyway, I'm just going to um, get some breakfast now. Well, some lunch because it's like two something. But I definitely need to buy groceries soon so that I will stop eating out because you eating out every single day, twice a day is not cheap. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll let you know what I get up to. See you. Hi there, this is Editing Rookie and I realized that I got really distracted once I left the building and forgot that I was going to get food. So I stumbled upon this place called El Corte Ingles, which basically translates to the English court. And I just got really distracted and started doing some window shopping. So that's what's going on in here. I finally got back to my apartment after getting food. I settled for unhealthy McDonald's. After eating, I decided to unpack and just put my room in order. I got some Chinese fried rice for dinner and that was basically it about my day. Hi, good morning or good evening I should say. Um, 
I had plans for today, but I don't know how I waited till evening, but I'm still going to go out anyway and try to do some stuff. So my plan for today is to try to get a transport card that will allow me to use um, buses and trains. And then I will try to get a new SIM card. Long story, but I need a new SIM card because the roaming costs, the roaming charges on my UK SIM are like crazy right now. So I need to get a new SIM that will not um charge me eu roaming eu roaming rates so i need to get a new sim basically and then i'm going to try to get some groceries as well i'm definitely not going to cook today that's out of the question but if i buy groceries today then i can maybe cook tomorrow so i will stop eating out so much so yeah those are the three things i want to do um let's see how it goes so I found this place which was just about four buildings away from me and I got a Libara SIM card. Then I was supposed to go to the metro and see if I could get a travel card from there but I couldn't find it because Google Maps took me to the wrong place so I just ended up doing some sightseeing around my neighborhood instead. Then I went to get some churros, which were so good. I stumbled upon this place called Arenal and I decided to just go in and look around and maybe do some window shopping. But I ended up buying some things, some household items that I needed. hi there so i'm back now and i didn't achieve much to be honest honestly google maps is moving mad because this is the second time it's taking me to a place that wasn't there in bilbao and i'm just like i don't understand the first time was when i was trying to find a massage place i couldn't find it there was nothing there the second time was today when i was trying to go to the metro because i'm pretty sure there's another place i could get a travel card a transport card i don't know what it's called but a card to use on the bus and the tram but i don't know where else apart from the metro so i was trying to go there and the metro is just like five minutes away from me but i couldn't find it and this isn't like a massage place that might be difficult to find it's a metro it, to find a metro shouldn't be difficult like there should be signs everywhere i couldn't see anything so um i couldn't get my travel card i don't know i'm going to try again tomorrow but at least i was able to get my sim card i got a libara sim so i'm going to activate it today so that give gaff can stop charging me ridiculous prices for roaming um yeah and then after that i went to arena one i wasn't planning to do that honestly but i just saw it on the way i'm like i might as well do a bit of shopping for some essentials that i need i haven't really gotten everything that i need but tomorrow i'm going to try to leave early and do that i didn't go grocery shopping anymore because i knew that i wasn't going to cook again today and i was honestly tired i wasn't in the mood to start buying groceries but i got my chinese fried rice again i'm obsessed the woman has already turned into my customer even though we don't understand each other she speaks spanish i speak english but we use sign language to communicate and she knows me now so like yeah she's just just right next door so like it's terrible honestly because <laughs> i'm going to be eating out more often than usual just because it's so close and it's so convenient but hopefully tomorrow i'll start cooking so that i don't eat out all the time but yeah see you tomorrow hola I'm gonna start using that as my intro now because I am in Spain, so why not? Honestly, why not? Um, so it's about 3 p.m. now. I don't know how I keep wasting my day because <laughs> I really thought I would leave, not in the morning, but I thought I would leave by around 12 maybe, but it's 3 p.m. and I'm just about to leave. 
anywho i'm doing better than i did yesterday so i'm trying to go to um get a transport card now um i found a useful website online and i saw an address there so i hope it's the right place i'm gonna go there try to get the card and then i'm going to go grocery shopping like i should have yesterday honestly i haven't eaten today i'm so hungry my toxic trait is waiting until i'm hungry before i eat and then going to eat anything i can find so like i'm gonna have to go to a restaurant maybe not a restaurant like a fast food place to eat um before i start my tasks for the day and i think i'm gonna go to five guys like i was watching this video where someone was rating like fast food places in terms of the quality of their fries and five guys was like number two on the list and it just made me think yo i've literally never had food at five guys and i don't know why because it's such a popular brand i see it all the time but i've just never had food there so i'm definitely gonna have it today i don't know if i'm gonna have it now or i'll buy it for dinner but I'm going to have it at some point today and I will rate their fries and see how good it is. So yeah, see you later. Um, I don't know if you can hear me because I'm walking currently, but I wasn't able to get the card. It's called a Barrica card, a personal Barrica card, I think. Yeah, I wasn't able to get it because they said if I'm under 26, then I need to get something from like the city hall. I'm mean, not like I need to. I could pay for the one for people who are over 26, but like they said if I want it cheaper, since I'm under 26, I need to get something from city hall saying I'm living here for more than one month. But the city hall closes by 2 p.m. and it's currently like 3 something. So serves me right for leaving my house late. <laughs> um, I will try again tomorrow. And um, right now, I'm just gonna eat. Then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. And I feel like I want to do my nails. I don't know. Just I don't know. Like it's so random, but I feel like I want to do that. The only issue is that I will have to encounter the language barrier. Like uh, trying to get services here is just it stresses me out because there's a language barrier, and I always feel somehow trying to uh, communicate with people with english because obviously that's not the primary language here and i feel like they're just saying why are you here if you don't speak spanish leave this place <laughs> obviously they don't they don't act like that but that's just how i feel so i don't like going to places when i'm not fully like conversant with the language but i have to overcome it somehow so i will use google translate or something but anyway see you later
so these are the groceries that i got i didn't really buy too much because like i said i don't have a lot of space in the fridge so i don't want to buy too many things that um wouldn't be able to fit into the fridge i can't really make a lot with this all i can make is like pasta and then a tortilla wrap and maybe a chicken salad well a turkey salad because as you can see there i got turkey instead of chicken yo i'm so upset because i ended up buying vinegar thinking it was i don't know what i thought it was honestly like vegetable oil or olive oil i didn't really read it i just saw divino and now i'm seeing it means of wine um I, did, I didn't even know what that meant but i just looked at it i thought i wanted to use google translate but i was like this must be oil and it was next to like different bottles of oil there were different types of oil there i just saw this and i took it now i'm seeing it says i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that but this thing that looks like vinegar is vinegar <laughs> i didn't see that you know i thought it was oil so upsetting it smells so bad <laughs> it smells so bad um i was wondering what was smelling like that until i realized it was this i'm just happy i did not put it in my food because i would have been so upset like <sighs> I don't know what to do with this now because I don't use vinegar. Also, I thought I was going to buy five guys for dinner, but I think I've changed my mind. Honestly, I don't know that I'm in the mood to go out anymore. Like you can see, I'm already changed into my hoodie. I'm so comfortable. I just want to rest. I don't know why I'm tired. Like I was out for only about three hours, but you know, there is no rush. This is home for me for the next like five months. So there's no rush. I can try five guys another time. I can do my sightseeing another time. I can do anything I bloody want to do in this city. For five months so there's no rush i'm not sure i want to go out again today so i finally got um food from five guys and i'm ready to give it a taste test i got the spicy fries so i don't know how it's going to taste but let's see honestly like <laughs> I don't know. When I when I ordered spicy fries, I thought it would be like peppery, but it just feels like they put I don't even know what this tastes like, like curry or something. But it's definitely not the kind of spice I was expecting. I should have just gotten regular for like fries. But even at that, even like without the spices or anything, it just there's nothing special about these fries. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe I can't taste it because of the spices, but like, I do like the spices, but even the quality of the, the fries as well, it doesn't feel nice. Yeah, I would choose McDonald's fries over this any day. So, Phil, let's try the burger. I got a bacon cheeseburger and I put some like, I added some extra toppings like um, jalapenos, salsa steak and tomatoes. Let's see how this goes. I want to get like a good bite with everything. Okay, I'm just messing this up. Let me start from here. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> this burger is good. Between this and McDonald's, Sorry, I know I'm comparing it to McDonald's a lot because McDonald's is like very close to me. So that's why I've, I eat a lot here. So that's like my point of reference in terms of Bilbao fast food. But in terms of fries, McDonald's fries are definitely better. In terms of burgers, I would go with Five Guys Burgers. But overall, I would still choose McDonald's because I think McDonald's is cheaper and yeah. Hola. Um, I'm going to the city hall today to get the declaration or whatever it is that I need that I'm living here for that I'm living here for more than a month so that I can get a discount on my transport card. And after that, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I might just come back home or um, I might do a bit of sightseeing, but we will see. Bye.
So I eventually went to the city hall to get the declaration but I wasn't able to do it because they said I needed to prove that I would be living in Spain for at least 6 months but my contract with my accommodation is for only 5 months. So I went back to the metro and it turned out this whole drama was for nothing because I didn't even need to go through that entire process. All I needed was a simple barrack card that I could use once in a while which I eventually got. Yo, the sun is literally blinding me right now. I've never been so happy to see sun lag. <laughs> I do not miss Sweden at all. Oh my god, I need to start wearing sunglasses again because it's that sunny. I'm so happy, my god. Could this be life? <laughs> Hola, good morning, buenos dias. <laughs> um, I'm on my way to the university right now. I've got a lecture by 10 a.m. But before that, I need to like sign up for some Spanish lessons. I'm going to be taking Spanish lessons and I'm excited. Um, it's about eight something now. The sun hasn't even risen yet. I'm not happy waking up this early, but I don't have a choice. So yeah, I'm just um, about to go to university. I'm going to take the bus for the first time. I haven't actually taken the bus since I got here. The bus or tram, I don't know. I guess I'll check my map to see what I need to take. And yeah, see you later. Bye. I'm finally back after a very, 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 very long day. But the first thing I want to say is that the view around my university is breathtaking. In fact, this entire city is breathtaking. Like, my daily struggle is trying to resist the urge to stop every five seconds and take a picture. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I actually got lost a couple of times when I was coming back from the university because Google Maps kind of messed me up. But I didn't even mind because each place I was going to was just a new landscape. You know, it was so beautiful. It was so pretty. I can't believe that I live here. I can't believe, like, it's wild that I live in this city. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. But my schedule is going to be a bit crazy now. Um, when I was in Gothenburg, when I was in Sweden, my schedule was kind of light. But here, it's like I've got lectures every day. I've got four-hour sessions. Sometimes I have more than one session a day. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a bit more intense here. But I am equal to the task. <laughs> I just have to do a bit more 
um, planning. I have to plan my time more effectively so I'm able to do all of the things that I need to do. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because, yeah, I've just been recording content. Honestly, I don't even know like how I'm going to structure the vlog, but I think I've gotten enough content for this vlog. I don't know if I'm going to do more vlogs i mean i definitely will do more vlogs of my time in spain but not right now i think i'm done with the vlogging for now so thank you for watching subscribe for more content and see you in my next video bye